Okay, cool. Well, I guess today wasn't a good day, or shall we see, uh, when I'm watching this uh, reaction to the Platinum Plan and, 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 and all the critics have about Ice Cube on, on him siding with Trump, and I'm actually going through the data, I'm going through the information, I'm, I'm seeing what he's talking about, I'm seeing what he's been involved about. You know, you know there's, a, there's a time in my life where I, I can give a shit about politics. There's a time in my life where I can give, give a crap about what's going on in the White House, what's, given, what's going on in white, black, brown, uh, red, blue. I, to me, that's a big haze. But I see where he's coming from, because when you're looking at coming up in this country, and maybe in your 20s and 30s, uh, I can get the fact that you know you may not be making a lot of money, you may not be in the uh, in, in the tax brackets uh, necessarily where he is at today, and you may not give a shit about what's going on. But now that he's created something, now that he's built something, now that he wants to build some, something and transfer things on to his kids, he says, "Man, you know what? Uh, what I've built, I want to be able to keep." And and I understand that the agenda here, when when we're looking at uh, this video here, uh, minute 129. Um, he said, listen, everything about the black community in, in, in the United States of America is designed for the black community to be at the bottom. And he's talking about pooling our resources together and, and rallying and coming together. And, you know, I, I think that uh, Ice Cube is doing his best to be a unifier, to, to be a synergist. And, and he goes on to say here in, in at 2 minutes and 50 seconds that he doesn't trust any president. So I'm not so sure if this is so much a right, a left, a red, or a, or, a, or, a, or a blue, I think this is one color. This is a green issue. This is a one race issue, a human race issue. So I'm looking at this type of stuff. I'm looking at my own journey. I'm looking at my own uh, situation. Single dad, came out the military, no college degree. Nobody's helping me out, no handout, no, no pedigree last name. There's one thing I test this thing to, by having five kids of my own, coming up with nothing, coming up with a poor credit score 25 years ago and fighting and scratching my way to build a business, to, to make my own money, is the issue is this, lack of financial literacy, lack of financial education, lack of financial awareness. It, it, it boggles my mind when I'm looking at America today, when my kids are going through school, I have to take a time and attention away from the time they have in the curriculum to pull them aside. So listen, did they teach about money? Did they teach about finances? Did they teach about entrepreneurship? Did they teach you about capitalism? Did they teach you about this thing called economic mobility? Because here's your dad, no college degree, no, no pedigree, no, no head start in life. I had a poor 400 credit score when I first started my business 20, uh, 22 years ago. But I built from scratch. And... What Cuba's getting at, it doesn't matter what's going on in the, in the White House, and I've been saying this for years, it doesn't matter what goes on in the White House, the most important thing is what goes on in your house. He said that here at, uh, at uh, 7 minutes and 25 seconds, what most important thing is what goes on in our home, because the right or the left, the blue and the red, none of these presidents have done anything for the black community. That's what he's saying. And by the way, i got to agree with him. i got to agree with him saying this, I don't care about what's going on in the White House. I don't care what policies. Here's what I care about. Can you give me a shot? Can you give me a fight? Can you give me a shot to say, you know what, I'm going to work hard at something. I don't care what somebody puts against me. If I can build a business, I can have some economic mobility. If you give me an opportunity to get a license, you give me an opportunity to start a business, you give me an opportunity to, to do something for myself, do I have the opportunity then to create some financial gain, to have some economic prosperity? Because here's the thing. As a single dad, custody of my kids, here's what I've never done. It, personally for me. And a lot of my colleagues, a lot of my friends, a lot of my business associates who are also multimillionaires, here's what they've never leaned on. Guess what they've never leaned on? The government. They never leaned on, man, I can't get anything because somebody's not giving me a shot. We fought and scratched our way to that, even when most things went against us, even when most things were, were, were coming against us. You know, when, I, when I'm thinking about our company, when I'm thinking about our guys and gals with inside the firm that I coach and mentor and help people inside the insurance industry, inside the money business, I'm, I, I just had to pull up a record here of the people that we've helped in the middle of this pandemic, that we've helped in the middle of this crisis, that we've helped in this, this situation of, man, I don't have enough and I don't have enough, I'm not getting respect. And he says here at six minutes and 14 seconds, the reason why we don't have any respect is we don't have any money. So we don't have any money to actually go fight the good fight to actually enact some laws, to actually access people who have actual power, because money in itself is in power. And so when I'm looking at its, its influence, it'll help you get to open the right doors. I'm looking at Bianca Rist, single mom, $100,000 income we've coached this year, big $100,000 income. I'm doing Rich and Pamela Altima, banker, speech pathologist. We help to make $100,000 working for themselves. Uh, Otes, Navy veteran, she's a, 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 a um, bobsledder, track star, making make $100,000. I'm thinking about 
Edward and Jamie Musgrove, over $200,000 so far this year. I uh, used to sell newspapers at a kiosk in the mall. Uh, uh, Tori and uh, Maurice Hansberry, over $200,000 of income now. Uh, we don't even have an updated uh, uh, print uh, 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 image here uh, that we can print. They're growing so fast during the pandemic. Used to throw bags at the back of Southwest Airlines. Now over $200,000 of income in the middle of a pandemic in 2020. Uh, Chelsea and Damian Mackey uh, used to run a veterinary clinic, and he was an NCAA champion with Oklahoma Sooners of the 2000 uh, championship team. Uh, principal at a school and managed a veterinary clinic. And Chelsea, man, over $200,000 of income. Swazos, Jasmine and Ellis, they were both teen parents by themselves individually uh, on their own. They fought their, uh, clawed their way through school individually on their own. They finally met in Chicago. Hey, you got a kid? I got a kid. They get married. They have a blended family. Engineer, former director of communication Capitol Hill, now over 250000 actually $270,000 at the printing and the shooting of this video. Uh, uh, engineer by trade and former director of communications, they're making it, they're making it happen regardless of who's in the White House. Uh, Vic and Anna here, Latina, Mexicana, uh, Victor, black, Puerto Rican, okay? Uh, he gave up a basketball contract saying, listen, I'm not going to go play basketball in Puerto Rico. I'm going to start business. I'm going to get this done. Anna, sociology degree, went to school, went good grades. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say, I, I, I'm going to go get a job in sociology in this degree. Guess where we found her? The hospitality uh, department at the, at the hotel in downtown Chicago. So I'm looking at the situation, and no matter what goes on in the White House, no matter what goes on in the red or, or what goes on November 3rd, what's most important to your value system, what, what you say, okay, this is my priority. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we went to go meet with uh, Damon John. Uh, he did something for the military veteran community in terms of helping them uh, through the, 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 the navigation and the journey of entrepreneurship. That, that video is going to be released on uh, November 10th and 11th through the Military Influencer Conference. And uh, I'm excited for that, uh, that to be happening. Just sat down with a couple here, Kelly and uh, Kelly, um, I'm sorry, Kehinde and Ellie Thomas out of uh, uh, Plantation Hollywood, Florida. And they're creating a fantastic business. They're doing things as entrepreneurs over 200, I'm sorry, $300,000 of income because they're entrepreneurs. And Swazo said, you know what, I'm going to coach other black men in my community because I don't care what's going on elsewhere, left, white, black, brown, uh, 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 situations of red, blue. I want to coach my guys now. We need to pay bills today. And so I'm looking at this guy and say, you know what, I'm going to learn. He's learning from me and he's paying it for it. And so when, when Cube says we need to come together, we need to pull our resources, our time, our experiences together and come together more tightly as a community. And, and don't say, hey, hey, uh, uh, hey, Cube, just because this you're my here, but now I, he I hear you supporting Trump. That's not what he's saying. Here's who he's really supporting. He's supporting the black community. He's supporting the people he, he grew up with. He's supporting his family. I got to applaud him for doing that. And for all the people that are jumping on him or jumping on somebody else, because just because they don't agree with you, here's what I realized through life as an entrepreneur and, the, and a business person. I've been in boardrooms where they're looking at me twisted cross-eyed and maybe want to work twice as hard to overcome those stereotypes and t t uh, typical known truths they may think of people of color, people of different skin tone. It work, maybe work twice as hard to, not to play into those stereotypes and say, you know what? I'm going to bring value. I'm just as smart, if not smarter, than somebody else that you would have hired. That's why I need to do the job. And I got the job. So when you sit in a situation, you think about yourself economically, you think about yourself in a, in a financial position, I think the most important thing for a lot of people today is you're considering your financial freedom. You're considering your financial gain, your, the financial opportunities ahead of you. You, you got to have that as a priority when it comes to November 3rd. So as you line these things up, read the Democratic plan. You got to read the Platinum plan. You got to listen to all these different things that uh, uh, these, these uh, folks are saying. And hopefully they're coming from a place of their priorities and values of, okay, how do I feed my family? How do I be independent? If I work hard, I get to keep it. It's a meritocracy. Um, if I'm going to work hard, why should I pay for somebody that doesn't want to work? Th those type of things. If it matters to you, that's the priorities and value system of how you need to vote. And yes, your vote does matter. And I'm, I'm talking to my kids, and we're having deep discussion because my kids now are 25, my twins are 19 years old, we have a 10-year-old son, we have a multiracial, uh, uh, biracial, we got all races within inside our family, we have black, white, uh, Haitian, Filipino, we got them all in our family. We got them all in our family. And I've got to tell them this, at the end of the day, kids, the most important race is this, it's the human race. The most important color to me and you that I care about, I see through you. I don't look at you. I see through you. I see a heart. I see a spirit. I see a mind. I see dreams. I see goals. Because the most important thing for me when I look at you is a color green. 
With that being said, guys, I love to know your thoughts. I love to know your feedback. I love to know what you're thinking about. What did you think about when Ice Cube said, I'm going to consider the Trump platinum plan? And I don't know about the $500 billion we're putting on the table, or the Democrats talking about this and this and that, or all the, all the friends there treating and trying to cancel, uh, hit, the, hit the cancel culture on what you're trying to say and delete you and unfriend you. What are you thinking? Drop them in the comments section below. I'm very curious of what you've got to say about this particular situation. With that being said, guys, I'm your money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Thank <laughs> you.